The formula auditing toolbar is critical in being able to visualize what is happening in your spreadsheet. It is found under the formulas tab over here, formula auditing, and there are three main buttons that we are going to consider being trace precedence, trace dependence, and remove arrows. And we'll cover all of these. Let's see what it does first. If I click in that cell, you'll notice it's saying equals E2, which is over here. If we click in it, we get these colored bars, which guide us. But my preference is if you click in the cell and you click the trace precedence button, you'll see it draws a blue line where the cell is. This is quite useful because visually you can immediately see where it is. If, for example, we've got one here, without even looking up here, if I tr say trace precedence, you'll see it tells me that this is a link to way down here. So we find that quite useful. Another useful aspect is that if you hover over the blue line and double click, it takes you straight to the cell. And to get back, we can do the same thing. Just going back here, if I go to the next cell, you'll see it's a slightly more complex formula. It's looking at F11, 1 plus E4. When I click Trace Precedent, you can see that it draws the lines from the two places. We can now see that this formula is making use of that cell and that cell. That in itself is quite useful, but what about if the cell is looking outside of the sheet, either to another sheet or another spreadsheet. If I look over here, you'll see that this cell is actually looking elsewhere. When I click on it, you'll notice that instead of the blue line, I get a dotted line with a little spreadsheet at the end of it. This is telling me that this is looking outside of the sheet. What you can do, which is very useful here, same thing, hover over the line, double click and it will list all the reference points. I would choose the one I want, in this case there's only one and when I say OK it takes me straight to the other spreadsheet to that cell. Now a little trick you need to learn is that to get back you push the F5 key and this will appear and when I say OK it takes me straight back there. Besides the obvious benefit of just being able to see where a formula comes from, there is another benefit to this tool. I'm just going to click this button Remove Arrows, which does exactly what it says. It removes all these arrows. And I'm going to show you how we use that particular button to trawl through our spreadsheets to find errors. So a good spreadsheet should be built with some consistency. So you build one formula and then you should copy it across. So we can visually check this by going to each cell in a row. Okay, so the first one looks like it's a starting point. The next one's taking the previous cell, adding 5%. Go to that one. So notice there's a bit of a pattern forming. Ooh, something's changed there. Then it goes back to that pattern. Doing it quicker, what we can do is we can click on the first cell, hover our mouse over trace precedence, and use our arrow keys, and then click trace precedence, to the right of the arrow key. So you can quickly see that there's something inconsistent with this cell. At this stage we may need to investigate whether it's right or wrong, but the more important thing is that it's a lot easier to spot a problem with a formula than to try and stare at the actual underlying formula. As useful as that function is, it is possible to pretty much do what we've done here manually. You could stare at the formula and look around. A more important function in the formula auditing toolbar is the trace dependence button. So for example, if I look here, I've got a tax rate of 30%, which is the number. And I want to change that, but before I do, I just want to check which other cells in my spreadsheet make use of it. Humanly, it's impossible to do, short of going to every single cell to see where it is. What we can do is we can click on that cell, and if I say trace dependence, 
it immediately tells me that all that this cell is used over here, 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 etc. So that is a very, very powerful tool, something that can't really be done by a human being. So for example, let's say I see this 7%, and to me it looks like it's a messy, someone's just put a little calculation there. I decide I'm going to delete it. Before I delete it, I click remove, trace dependence, and you'll see it warns me straight away that this cell is actually being used over here. If I deleted this, this would be incorrect. What about if the number is not being used? So for example, I'm going to put a number here like 3000. Again, if I came to this, I was about to delete it. I could click on it. When I say trace dependence, it warns me that this cell is being used nowhere else. In this case, it means we probably can delete it. But in other cases, it could actually mean that even though you think you're changing an important cell, you're actually having no impact on your spreadsheet.